How's it going, everybody? Due to my article I did yesterday on the video, I have a what if video dealing somewhere with that article. So, what if Sony makes the PS4 a system that you know blocks used games? You know, the same process as Microsoft. You have to buy a new game and you know start in the hard drive and then take. If you want to play a game over somewhere else, else you actually got to take the system and put plug it up, you know, sign in and whatever. What happens if Sony does that? Now, this article, uh, pretty much yesterday I did on was, uh, you know, many people was on Twitter, many people was on Facebook, posting up campaigns wanting Sony not to, uh, you know, restrict used games for the next gen consoles. And, uh, the president responded back not to the question, but to, uh, a whole different subject dealing with the DM, DMR, I think, I can, DR, DMR, I think it's right, or DRM. But anyway, it's pretty much, uh, he's talking about a game that's coming for Avita. So he's annoying the whole question. So we don't know what their intentions are till June 10th. So, you know, what if Sony, you know, block used games on their consoles? Pretty much many people may be upset. I, I can say that majority of people are going to be upset. You know, they probably have to bring their consoles around or something like that. But knowing, you know, Sony, I don't think that they're going to, you know, block restrict games. They probably are because a lot of, um, a lot of articles out there it will say that the three, you know, Xbox One and the PS4 will be similar, you know, similar around, uh, pretty much similar around. And uh, this is, this is a, there's some differences between them, but majority of um, the two systems are going to have the same stuff. So it won't be uh, a surprise if they do block used games. But, you know, if Xbox is doing it, then, you know, if Sony is not doing it, you know, they pretty much have a game plan here, you see. And um, I don't know what Xbox can do. Then probably Sony can do better. They're probably going to leave it alone or actually, you know, do restricting games. But we won't find out actual information to June 10th on E3. So pretty much that's all to say. What if uh, Sony makes their next-gen console to PS4 uh, block used games, restriction used games, and stuff like that? Many people will be upset, but we do not know yet. I'm just, bring, just speaking my mind, just bringing up some suggestions. And, uh, yeah, it just kept me thinking all day ever since I did the article. All right, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the next PS4. Should it block used games? Should it allow used games? And if it do, the outcome do allow used games. You know, you know, block the used games, and you have to, you know, take the long way around and bring your system over a friend's house, or you know, going on a family vacation and stuff like that to, you know, your other family, your other cousins, your uncles, and stuff like that. You know, it's. It's it will be a pain, you know, carrying all that stuff on there, and um, yeah, you know, it just can be easier if you just bring the game, not just the whole system, because sometimes you can risk system actually, you know, might break or something like that if you don't have the right case. You know, some people put it in backpacks, which sometimes is not really secure enough in the actual case itself, and uh, just all that nonsense. You know, this is 2013. We should have technology where we can do this a little bit better. You know. It'd be it'd be cool if we could just sign into a different system with we'll our stuff on there and uh, just end like that. But I don't see that's happening. So uh KCV three, as always everybody, have a wonderful Friday day.